Hello naturopathic beauties, I'm Dr. Stacy Shillington, naturopathic doctor. It is my mission to help you clear your acne and today by huge massive request for actually quite a few years, this is a long time coming, I'm going to talk about acne scars, how they develop, how to prevent them and how to treat them. But before we get into it, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe and if you have any questions at all, pop them in the comment section below. Okay, so let's get started. First, I want you to understand how acne scars form. And this is important to know because it really determines how you treat your acne scars. So whenever there is injury in the dermal layer of the skin, scar tissue starts to be formed. And the dermal layer of the skin is the second layer of the skin. It's not the epidermis, which is the top layer. It's a little bit deeper. And in the dermal layer of the skin, there exist these cells called fibroblasts. And fibroblasts produce the type of collagen that creates scarring. Whenever there's inflammation and injury to an area, these fibroblasts are mobilized and they start pr to produce their very fibrous collagen fibers. When we have acne, if there's a lot of inflammation in our body, if there's a lot of inflammation in the skin, these fibroblasts are going to be working at top speed. And there are three stages to scar formation. The first two stages, I kind of group together. It's inflammation and proliferation. This stage lasts between day one and between day 21. And really this is the time when the fibroblasts are mobilized and all the fibrous collagen fibers are laid down. After day 21, this is called the remodeling phase and it lasts up until about two years. And this is when the fibrous scar is actually starting to solidify. It becomes more permanent, it becomes more hardened, um, for lack of a better word. So this is when the scar really starts to become permanent. And it's at this stage where you have to start looking at different treatment options. So let's talk about these two stages that I've kind of identified, the inflammation and the proliferation stage, and then the remodeling stage. In the inflammation and proliferation stage between days one to day 21, this is where you can actually affect how the acne scar is going to form. The number one thing you need to do to prevent and reduce the formation of acne scars is to reduce inflammation in your body and on your skin. And this makes such a huge difference because the less inflammation there is, the less fibroblasts are going to be mobilized, which means less scarring. So how do you reduce inflammation? From the inside out, this is the most important. It's all about, you know, Reduce, getting a proper diet going, reducing inflammation by not eating inflammatory foods, helping your liver to detox properly, healing your gut, managing your stress levels, balancing your insulin levels. All these things are going to massively reduce inflammation in your body, way more than anything else, way more than any topical treatments that you are going to apply to your skin. But that being said, Topical treatments are really important because if you have red, dry, irritated skin, that skin is going to be more vulnerable to inflammation and more vulnerable to more fibroblasts being mobilized to producing scar tissue. So if you're over cleansing, if you're over exfoliating, if you're continually damaging your moisture barrier, you need to stop. You need to nourish the, the moisture barrier, the epidermal layer of your skin to reduce the inflammation. Now, when you've, once you've reduced the inflammation, if you do get a blemish, you can apply some topical agents that can help reduce the amount of scarring that's going to occur. And some of the, these agents include niacinamide, which reduces inflammation, vitamin C, which helps the collagen fibers regenerate optimally, retinoids, which can also help the collagen fibers regenerate optimally, hyaluronic acid, and aloe vera. These are five ingredients that have been scientifically proven to prevent scarring from occurring. So these are things that you use between days one to 21 
to help prevent scarring. Now, if you have scars that are older than 21 days, chances are topicals are not going to help prevent or treat the scarring. And this is because a fibrous layer has been laid down. And topical things are not able to penetrate this fibrous layer. It's thick, it's, you know, think of like really dense fibers. Nothing is getting through that stuff. So what you need to do is you need to move to more clinical treatments such as my favorite, medical microneedling. This is by far the most effective treatment to help reduce existing acne scars. Lasers are also very good, but I personally really like the medical microneedling. Great success. So this has to be done by a professional. And it's not using the derma rollers that you can easily buy over the counter or online. Those derma rollers have very, very small needle lengths. Usually they're like between 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters. And those derma rollers are great to increase product penetration, but they are not going to be able to affect the fibrous nature of the scar tissue. Instead, you need to use a derma roller that has needles that are between one to two millimeters long. So that is a lot longer than the little derma roller that we, we have upstairs in our bathroom. So that is why you need to have a professional do this because you need to use needles that are deep enough so that they can actually start to break up the fibrous tissue. So that's what the needles do. They break up the fibrous tissue and then immediately after the treatment, your esthetician, your your medical, your dermatologist, whoever, they will put a serum on your skin and that serum will hopefully contain things such as vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, maybe even herb called Gotu Cola. And these herbs will help and nutraceuticals will help stimulate proper collagen growth. You do not want to do derma rolling if there's still inflammation in your skin and in your body because when you, you know, when the needles go into the fibrous tissue, more scar tissue can be created if there's inflammation. If there's no inflammation, then regular collagen fibers are going to be stimulated and the scarring is gonna be replaced by normal skin. So you cannot do medical microneedling if you have a lot of inflammation in your skin or even in your body. You really want the inflammation to be down. You also do not ever, ever wanna do microneedling when you have existing acne blemishes because those blemishes are full of bacteria, a bacteria called P. acnes, which is the bacteria that's responsible for acne formation. And when you do medical microneedling, you actually go into the blemish, pick up those bacterias, and spread them all around the skin and actually deposit the bacteria into the dermal layer of your skin all over, which can create a huge, massive breakout, probably worse than you've ever experienced before. So with my patients, I always advise, number one, work on healing the moisture barrier, reducing inflammation in your body, use select topicals such as niacinamide, retinoids, aloe vera, hyaluronic acid to help prevent scarring and to really strengthen your skin. And then once your acne has cleared, then start to embrace medical microneedling and do some of those treatments to help get rid of existing scarring. Usually you'll do medical microneedling, every six to eight weeks, and you need to do these treatments up to a year to really get the results you want, but so worth it. Oh my God, okay, I think I just spewed everything that I know about acne scarring to you. I hope that helps. Number one, get rid of the inflammation that is causing your acne scarring. If you need help, if you have active acne, if you're inflamed, my seven week clear skin program is the best. It's helped hundreds and hundreds of women clear their skin. You have to check it out. Other than that, follow me on Instagram, like and subscribe to YouTube. Thank you so much for watching and remember, leave any comments below. Have a great day.